What's going on everybody? I thought I'd uh, take a couple minutes and do a, this is going to be a, probably a fairly short video. And um, go over uh, something a friend of mine uh, made for me uh, a few years back. And uh, we made this at work, or he made it at work. But it's just a, this is just a Plano Outdoor Products um, aluminum case, as you can see. And uh, nothing really fancy. And uh, I uh, took it to, I bought it, took it to work, and um, had a friend of mine who is a, um, he's an engineer of sorts. And uh, we have some CAD drawing capabilities as well as a uh, CNC machine. And I thought that um, I could uh, get a nice gun case made while I was there. And we used some really dense foam. And he uh, took some pictures of my firearms. And um, did the magic that they do with this CAD software. And actually cut the foam out to fit um, two firearms that I wanted to keep in a case. And you can see this foam is really dense. I don't know what the, the how dense it really is. But um, he did a really, a really good job, as you can see. And um, I might take the camera off here and go over it a little bit. And um, just talk about what's in there. Let me, hold on, let me see if I can tilt it up just a little bit. Oh, that's a little bit better. So what you're looking at is this is a... Um, let me clear it for all the people out there who don't like wooly weapons. It is clear. Uh, this is a Kimber Ultra 2 Tactical. And... Um, it is in a um, little focus. So this is a Kimber Ultra 2 Tactical in 45 ACP. Um, you can see it's got the um, tactical magazine uh, guides in the bottom. And um, again, it's clear. And it fits right inside this slot. As you can see, it's milled out. This is probably two pieces of foam. The top one being um, glued to the bottom. But he really did a good job of uh, getting these uh, drawings to scale. And actually milling them out on the CNC machine. And for the Kimber, he actually uh, cut out two slots for um, the magazines right here. And the, the pistol sits right in there. And as you can see, there is a gap in the back for the third magazine to ride right inside the weapon. And over here we have a, uh, this is an old, uh, also unloaded, Smith & Wesson 38. I'm not sure the model. Um, this belonged to my grandfather, and um, it was um, handed down to me. He used it. He was a uh, security officer, and um, this was a gun that he carried. Uh, needs needs some TLC um, done to it, but it still shoots good. It's got a really hair trigger, and um, you know it's got sentimental value to me, so that's why I can't hold on to it. And as you can see here as well, it was nice and milled out, and. Um, Perfect, perfect shape, perfect fitment. It doesn't slide out, doesn't go anywhere. And he uh, milled out slots over here for the six rounds for the 38. So, uh, you know, ideally I would have six in a gun and I would have six spares sitting on this side. And um, so I just thought that would, uh, that was an interesting um, gun kit that I have here. And fortunately that I do work somewhere that um, we can do things like this on occasion. And, uh, you know, if I were to have this, this designed and built somewhere, it would probably cost me a little bit of money. But um, I could probably put a link to this case. I got it on Amazon. It was probably 20 some odd dollars, I'm thinking. Maybe that. And um, the foam was um, cut to size at, at my shop at work. And um, I don't want to pull it out, but it's not glued in or anything. But um, it fits these firearms just perfectly. And um, so I got a nice case I can carry them around in. I can lock it. And um, it looks pretty sexy too, don't you think? So anyway, that's just um, one uh, nice little gun system that I have. And uh, I'll probably take these out and clean them here in a minute. And um, other than that, that's all I got for today. So hope everybody's having had a good weekend and um, have a good start for the rest of the week. Later.